Hey what's up guys DSL loader is awesome implementation by the Google to test the generic system images that Google going to release the new Android versions which can be loaded over the existing OS with the single reboot we can go back to the stock rom it's only available in Android 11 roms via developer settings there we get this option but that setting will load only on the compatible GSA packages available for your device when you tap on it it will gets downloaded and flash but developers like the phs has developed the phs stable gsr rom using these images which are bootable and working on lots of devices but to install them we need to follow the tds fast boot flashable installation process that i created in lots of videos but now the new all dso side loader is available where we can load any gsi image exit or the gz file and test it instead of that we can set the specific user data size for the search images and use them as a dual boot rom with your stock rom or the custom rom this will work without the root but it will work properly with the root access it's compatible for any device having the android 11 and dos loader in this video i will show you how you can use this app and how it's useful to dual boot any gsi so you are watching for take without wasting your time let's get started on the new adventure So first download the app DOS side loader install the app when you first time open it it will ask for the root permission latest 23 plus magic's version is recommended after that it will ask for the storage setup it will open your stock file browser there we need to tap the create folder now your temporary booted gsi will have this specific folder to operate now in the app we get the first option select gsi file to be installed from here we can load any image or the exe or gz file no need to unzip them so here i selected the .os android 11 based gsi image file now second tab is for selecting the user data size default gsi size is 2 gb we can untick that and can set any user data size we want as per your storage size last is the gsi file size keep this as a auto it's recommended to don't change it in the preferences setting there is tab operation mode showing which flashing method we are using root method or with the normal method root has the higher chances that it will boot and works properly as compared to non root method also there is a default user data size setting to change it from the 2 gb to anything we want so all has been set up now if you tap install gsa why do you soon now the installation of gsa starts but if you use the image file app will again compress it to the gz format So it will take time up to the two minutes. Once the compression has been done, installation starts and its progress has been shown in a status bar notification. Once it gets completed, we get the notification as the dynamic system is ready. Reboot the system. If you want to avoid, just tap the discard or tap restart. So that's it. I flashed the dot os and the dual gsa. It started to boot after few minutes. I already created a video for this gsa build for the not to. where i shown all the bugs and the features with the installation of .os 5.2 but now the installation is simplified all things are working in the rom even we booted it via dsu loader application no difference at all as compared to full install gsa build there is a notification available in a status bar to switch our stock rom so here i tap the restart and my phone booted to stock oxygen os a16 with all my data and apps intact nothing change So in this way we can switch between the two different roms one is stock and another is stable gsi image with the single tap so here i again switch to dot os by just restarting the phone and boot it to dot os 5.2 as it is with all my apps and data we set it up now instead of dot os if you want to install the another rom first tap the discard in the notification panel and repeat the same installation process shown previously So here I again flash the CR Droid Android 11 based PHS Treble GSI and it's also booted fine and having all the things working as I tested in a right side card video. If you want to go to the stock ROM just restart or reboot the phone using the power button also. So both are the Android 11 ROM so I tested the Lineage OS 19 Android 11 12 GSI file installation and surprisingly it's also booted no issues at all. The only issue I found is that the UNI set had user data higher than the 2 GB. It's not got change on my ROMs. It's remained same 2 GB. But still, this is the innovative way to boot the GSI without the TDS fast boot and the TWRP image installation process and wiping the whole the system. Now we can easily test any GSI on the device. If you don't like, we need to just restart the device 
and we went back to your stock ROM. It's also innovative way to use the non root HGS as a dual boot ROM and we can run all the banking apps on it with the SafetyNet path check. So that's it for today guys. If I help you please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.